People are trapped in this idea that, you know, these things that, that mathematically describe things like astronomy and navigation and, and surveying, that that all leads to space balls and, you know, all the stuff that they're trying to sell us with their science fiction. People need to really get back to looking at the physical geometry, the physical sciences, the ones of construction, of engineering, of all these things that are part of our lived life, and to absolutely cut through that bullshit. I'm not saying mathematics is a bad thing, as long as it is modelled on reality. And not on the metaphysical nonsense of some guy who's trying to be relevant. As long as it is modelled on reality. We can play with variations, we can change the temperature of the water. You know, it's not going to change the structure of the water and its physical characteristics and behaviours. We could put it in different conditions, we could elevate it, it's still going to be the same. Only practical demonstration will do observable phenomena taking photographs and making assumptions and assertions, that's just not going to pass. Because as far as it stands right now, the substance is telling us where we are, the possibilities of where we are and what's possible about claims that are being made about where we are. So I go with that. I don't go with fluffy, you know, cherry-picked bias, like globe cult zealots. It's all right to argue from facts like level water against a hypothesis, but it's not real science to come with a hypothesis and argue against the facts. Putting to bed the absurd silly notions and claims that we exist as a pressurized gassy environment, adjacent to a medium that is a vacuum without any solid separation. Absolutely absurd, and I will show that through practical demonstration again. There's no excuse for us to be circling around in debates about that nonsense, right? But for me, it's just a slam dunk. For me, it's just a slam dunk.